Hey, what's up guys? Trix here, back with another episode of Trivia 1.2 TrixyW for you, and this is it. We are going to battle Skeletron Prime. I've made a few minor changes to the arena. Um, I brought the nurse over here so that she will be there to heal us if we need it. I also added a door over there so no monsters can get in, and I added a timer connected to some star statues and heart statues um, so that we can regen health as we fight uh, Skeletron. So, let's just get our loadout equipped really quickly. Um, like this, we're going to have our spi- excuse me. We're going to have our spider and stuff, and here's all of our potions and buffs. We are ready to fight him, so I'm going to turn auto-pause off, and we are going to get started. So, Auto pause off. Let's do this. Let's turn on this timer. Nurse, be ready. I'm going to have the door open. Okay, let's buff. There we go. Tons and tons of buffs. And are we ready to fight him, guys? Here we go. He has awoken. Alrighty, let's start off with the uh, with the Mega Shark. Alrighty, he's already, already gotten us down some, but we do have health, which is good. We are utilizing this arena, using its platforms wisely, and we will do it. And switch to the Celestial Harp a bit. I hope those bombs don't actually do terrain damage. Let's spawn our spider to fight for us. Um, we have the Rainbow Rod now, which we can use to fight him and do a lot of damage to him, which is good, good, good. Alrighty, um, let's get him down. Uh, I don't have full Mithril Armor, or full... Hallowed armor, that was something I wanted to get, but I wasn't able to because I got killed by the destroyer when I tried to fight him again, which is weird. I haven't beaten the destroyer a second time. Uh, I beat him the first time, and then I couldn't beat him again. Let's switch back to the uh, to the Mega Shark. We've got crystal bullets, which are good. Uh, take out this arm, that'd be good, because his arms are doing some damage. Um, but we are hitting him. Gonna hit him up. And yeah, let's let's hit him quite a bit. We have gotten him down uh, like thousand health, I think, something like that. Something a good number. Uh, we're doing good. Let's heal up um, and keep on fighting. So yeah, I planted all my heart statues and star statues every few feet. I'm gonna turn on the crystal storm because that is helpful as it bounces off. Okay, he is taking us down. Um, so for this, I watched Meteor Demise's tutorial, and he just used Palladium Armor, and he never got below 200 health when he fought Skeletron Prime, which is good. Uh, I think the secret to this is just to stay calm and not panic. So, like, I've kind of panicked the last few boss fights, but I'm not going to panic this time. I'm just going to fly around casually and try to avoid his attacks, and I'm going to collect my hearts and stars. Um, we do need to fight him quickly, though, as Day is a threat to this operation. So, I'm sorry if the commentary isn't as exciting as it normally is. I'm just trying to remain calm and focus on this. Uh, the good thing about the crystal bullets for this is they split up into crystal shards, and they that damages him some more, which is good. Um, I also, when we fought the twins, I forgot to add these heart statues, but we fought them along our sky bridge, so that wasn't too much of an issue. Uh, we're not doing too, too much damage to him with this, um, Mega Shark, but we are getting him down, and we are not consuming half of our ammo, which is good. So, we really have about two times the ammo that we, um that than we have in our inventory because the Mega Shark, I believe, has a 50% chance to not consume ammo. So we have him down about halfway. Uh, in just a bit we will. Ooh, okay. Come on. Um, I'm gonna heal real quick because that is very, very good. Healing is helpful. 
and I'm going to shoot him some more. We've got a few minutes left of night time. Let's get right up on there. Let's switch to our sword and do some damage to him. There we go. And throw some projectiles at him. Come on, eat my knight's edge. There we go. We are doing some damage to him now. Um, so let's get in there, get real close and personal to him. And now let's kind of retreat because he did drop us below 200 health, which is something we don't want. And let's switch back to this mega shark and keep on fighting. We have him down to under 10,000, so that's good. Um, we, we are over halfway done with this battle. Okay, we've got 10 seconds until we are able to use our next health potion. I probably should have brought some greater health potions, but oh well. I'm going to switch back to this crystal storm because it bounces around and will do lots and lots of damage to him. There we go. Let's uh, continue using our crystal storm some more. And give some more because the crystal storm is a very good weapon and I'm glad I have it. Um, switch back to the mega shark and get him down. Oh, let's go down and get some more hearts real quick because we need the hearts to live. Uh, we have him down quite a bit. He is not retreating. He is currently just flying around us. Um, good. It is almost daytime. We can heal up and that is something we will do. We have him down to 5,000 health. I'm not concerned about anything right now. Okay, he is down. He is losing a lot of health and we are getting hearts, which is good. Um, let's get some more hearts real quick. We have him down under 4,000. Oh, hello, Mrs. Nurse. We might need you in a bit, but not right now. Hello, Mr. Skeletron. Uh, how are you doing today? He is doing fine. I had coffee with him this morning. Um, we have him down below 2,000. Now we just need to focus all our firepower on him and just gather some hearts. We have him almost down below 1,000. There we go. He's below 1,000. Now we just need to focus on him and we need to not die. It's very important that we don't die and Skeletron Prime has been slain. The jungle grows restless. <sighs> Skeletron Prime has been slain and we got the Skeletron Prime mask. That's awesome. We look cool. Ah, uh, so I guess the, uh, the secret to fighting Skeletron Prime is just to, uh, stay calm, and, um, yes, hello, Mr. Spider, you were very helpful, I think. Uh, but guys, we just killed Skeletron Prime, and let's see what time it is. Real quick, it is not even daytime, so we are good. Um, that, 27 Hallowed Bar, that's, that's incredible. Um, I think that's the calmest I've ever been in a boss battle. And it was good to stay calm because that helps me focus on him. Alrighty. Ah, Skeletron Prime has been defeated. Sweet. Uh, some of our buffs are still there. Um, probably could have buffed up again. Thank you for your help, Mrs. Nurse. Uh, didn't actually need you, uh, but glad you were there. I'm really glad I thought to put these heart statues in. Otherwise, we would have been dead. Oh, okay, how much gold did we get? We got nine gold. Awesome. But anyways, guys, let's head back to our house. I'm going to destroy this bed real quick. Um, switch these around because I want to spawn back at my house, which would be nice. Okay, and let's just teleport home. Hmm, or not. Alrighty, um, we're going to set the bed right, right, right here that no okay stop killing my dang nurse get out get get out there we go um let's try and get home real quick uh there we go and i'm gonna set the bed right over here and let's go back home here we are let's uh, craft ourselves some full hallowed armor so that we will be epic bosses and everybody will fear us uh now if we go in the jungle there will be the plantera plants so that we can fight Plantera, which is going to be awesome. I can't wait to fight him. Uh, so let's see what we can make with this. We obviously need Hallowed Greaves, and there they are. We have full Hallowed armor, guys. This used to be like the uh, in-game armor. I'm not going to wear this rune stuff anymore because my Hallowed armor just looks too epic. I look, I look pretty epic like this. Um, where's Mrs. Nurse or Miss Nurse? Actually, I don't know. 
she's got something going on with the arms dealer. Okay, um, there you go. Wonder if he's ever gonna propose to her, or if they're already married. I don't know. Hmm. Alrighty, where are my hallowed bars? So they are. Let's see what else we can make. I'm gonna put back my rune wizard robes real quick, even though I, I still have, like, two more pairs of them. Where are my rune wizard clothes? Uh, yeah, I've already got another pair right there, so I think I can sell these. Uh, or I might put them on a mannequin. Uh, Shia, how much are these worth? Ooh, wow, they're two gold. Okay, yeah. I find rune wizards quite frequently. Um, so, Mr. Guide, what else can we make with these hallowed bars that might be useful? Uh, frost leggings, they do 13 defense, while the hallowed leggings only do 11. Oh, so frost is better. I can craft frost armor. I have one frost core. I might do that um, sometime if I find more ice golems. Okay, so the Drax needs 18 hallowed bars. I can probably do this. Oh, oh pickaxe axe. Yes, this is what I like. Uh, I like pickaxe axe better. I want this. I shall go and make this uh, right after this. Um, yeah, I've got all those souls. I uh, don't need anything else except... No, no, I don't need that. So, um, wow, we... We're gonna go and craft the pickaxe axe. I also want to see how the flamethrower is made, because that is very, very useful. Um, we need to set get some souls for these keys, though. We need five for each, and yes, um, but flamethrower. 20 iron bars and illegal gun parts. So, we're going to do that real quick. Uh, we're gonna get ourselves the illegal gun parts. We are going to make ourselves the pickaxe axe. Um, let me just find those souls. I know I've only got one soul of sight. I need to fight the twins again. Um, yeah, let me just grab, uh, any ten iron bars I have. So those three and then seven more. Uh, there we go, there we go. Sweet. Okay, and what else do we need? Um, we need illegal gun parts, so let's go and get ourselves some money. Uh, 75 gold for the illegal gun parts, I believe. Um, so... Just take this out until we hit 75. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, this is really cool. Um, can't believe that's the first time I've ever legitimately defeated Skeletron Prime. My first try for all the bosses, I defeated them. Uh, for all the mechanical bosses. And I'd never fought them before. Uh, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Next up is Plantera. Let's just create the pickaxe axe real quick, and that will give us one free slot because it is an axe and a pickaxe, which is awesome. So we don't need this chainsaw anymore. Uh, we've got a place for the magical harp now. I'm going to put away the spider staff. But anyways, guys, um, oh, oh yeah, I've got the uh, Skeletron Prime mask. Awesome. I look pretty boss, but I'm going to put this away. But anyways, guys, that's it for this Terraria video. I'm going to make the flamethrower off camera because he only sells illegal gun parts at night. We got full hallowed armor. We uh, are going to get the flamethrower eventually. We got ourselves the pickaxe axe, uh, which is broken. Oh, great. Uh, well, it, it's damaged, so um, I might reforge that. So anyways, guys, if you liked this video, then be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe my to my channel for some more awesome Terraria and Minecraft content. Oh, great. It's even worse. Um, so anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.